Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Super Turtle on 14, part 4 of Chieftain Wars. I guess I really shouldn't have even called it Chieftain Wars because although they do have that veteranized brute chieftain on their team, this is like uh, over an hour into the game and they finally start using him in this video. And they have some engineers of their own to try and keep their vultures alive as they try to just tear through all of Llama's forces here. And it's working pretty well for now until my three-star monster shows up and vortexes everything. And uh, I can promise you that this will be the last part of this video. I know nobody really wants to watch the same game for over 40 minutes. But this was a two hour long game, I mean, wh what can I say? And it was it was pretty fun, mainly because they leveled up their chieftain, although they did not use it. Gosh, it would have been so much cooler if they would have. Actually, it probably would have been really bad. But you can see him right there, that's their two star warrior. And he's gonna get, he's gonna become three star pretty soon. I'm trying to vortex everything. I, I don't think I even noticed him there yet, but all of these hawks are attacking Llama's base, so I should probably bring my engineers back there to try and heal it, but I don't know. Maybe my vampires will suffice in trying to keep that base alive. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to start vortexing the hawks because three star monsters super vortex just tears them apart. Like, they're, they don't even exist. And Llama's base has been healed, so it's pretty much invincible, making this entire attack on their behalf in vain. I almost feel sorry for people that I super turtle against, like, whenever I do something like that. So, but anyway, all of the hunters are going to come up to my base now, which has God only knows how many shields on it. But anyway, I'm going to recall my chieftain, get him a little closer to the fight here. There's one hawk there trying to help the hunters take out my base, which has recharged its shields somehow. <laughs> All of these hunters are now trying to turn their attention on the llama's grizzlies, but it's too late. And they are dead. All of them dead. <laughs> Oh, and look, there's a vulture! Yay, vultures! So, I mean... This was a two hour long game, and, I mean, for at least 40 minutes, they made the same units. Over and over again. Oh, there's Mitch's Spartan Hawks, by the way. One of them's got some veterancy on it, that's pretty cool. I've never actually seen a fully veteranized hawk before, I don't know what their potential is, but if they're anything like other hawks, they'll probably just die instantly <laughs> against any anti-air. But whatever. So, anyway, they've taken over this side of the map pretty much from us, so we have to really push in and try and take it back. I'm sending in my three-star monster, but uh, they're, uh, they have a three-star monster there too, as you can see it there in the middle of the screen. I'm vortexing it and everything around it, but three star monsters power level is beyond imagination. It's over 9,000! No, no clip this time, sorry, I'm lazy. But uh, there you can see a big chunk of a vulture flying around in my vortex there. And the three, their three star monster is just not even getting hurt by it. It's pretty amazing. So I'm going to explode it, see how much damage that does. Not that I can see, because my ugly-ass mini-map is in the way. And now I'm going to look away and build more units on my base. Oh, there. You can see his health there. And it, yeah, it took about a quarter health away. That was like a maxim, maximumly filled vortex. I don't even know how you would say something like that. But they finally debomb my chieftain. So I can't vortex everything anymore. The worst thing about the D-bombs is that it blocks my teleporter and I can't port in units anymore. It's really annoying, but, you know, they're just doing everything they can to try and pull off the W here. 
but I mean, after about an hour, usually, people will give up. These kids really, really tried over and over again. Not that they were trying very hard. I think the only unit that the red player built was Hawks. I don't think he built anything else other than Spartans to put inside of them. And he built Cobras once, and that was it. And he's like, fuck this, man. I'm going to keep building Hawks. I'll keep building Hawks, man. They won't know what hit them. So, yeah. If you're trying to beat somebody super turtling, use some variety, people. I mean, do not do the same thing over and over again after it is being swatted away, like, without any incident. Just sometimes I don't know what people are thinking, but, I mean, I was a noob once, too, so I really shouldn't. I'm not one to judge people. Anyways, their uh, their three star monster retreated from this area. I don't. I'm not sure why. Probably because they lost everything else, and we are finally taking this side of the wall back. So that's pretty cool. Pretty good news for us, which means we can resume Super Turtle position once more. There are times where. We will break our super turtle position, but that's really only if things get really dire and we know that we can't defend anymore. And, uh, okay. Looks like Blue is sending his grizzlies up on the left-hand side there. I know I'm announcing these things a little late, but I'm trying to discuss multiple things, I guess. On Instinct told me, he's like, you guys are just lazy, you find nothing else to commentate on, so you just put in some shitty music. And he's right. Been getting a little lazy with the commentary lately, so... I'll try to commentate this entire vid, because it is pretty action-packed. You'll see that my vampires are stasis glitching. I still don't know if that's, like, something you can trigger by yourself, or what but anyway those grizzlies broke through the wall but they are going to get hijacked by mitch's spartans here although mitch may lose that two-star spartan which sucks but he does manage to get one grizzly there maybe another one there's the d-bomb to try and stop my vortex but you know the Vortex is just one thing about the Chieftain. If once he's debombed, he's still a monster, and you still cannot stop him if he's got enough engineers on him. And he will just stun all of the tanks and kill them. Mitch did not jack any of those tanks, by the way. They all got stopped. <laughs> but, uh, he does eventually jack some Grizzlies. And you'll notice that by the fact that he is jacking Grizzlies, that means that his Hawks died somewhere off screen unfortunately but you know oh there's there he is there's their three star chieftain right there so I'm gonna send mine straight towards him and try and kill him right now while there's a d-bomb there what you really have to do to try and kill a three star chieftain is you have to trap him because otherwise he'll be able to get away scot-free but if you can surround him with units yeah he just recalls and gets away with it but if you're trying to kill them, debomb them and surround them with as many units as you can. And, well, of course, you have to be able to uh, kill it, to surround it with units that can achieve the kill on him. But anyway, it's, it's just a really tough situation if they get a three-star chieftain. It's a bad situation for you. But... Okay, so there Mitch jacked some Grizzlies, and Llama's Spartan Grizzlies are here now, too. So this Grizzly army is just going to get pumped, just like every, ar every other army that they've sent up, and there's the, there's the freezing. That is definitely a rage quit. He probably just turned off his Xbox. He's like, man, they jacked my Grizzlies, man. This is bullshit, man. I'm leaving. And after he resigns, like... They're, his two teammates stuck in it for a while, but, uh, you know, they eventually fell as well, and that's another five minutes of video. Hour 38 at this point, I think it went up to an hour 47, and here, Llama and Mitch sent me all of their resources so I could actually max out my money bar, because I've never seen it before, and now you can see it. 
sending me so many supplies. I literally could vortex everything at this point. <laughs> there it is. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Hair, hair, hair. So there goes the other player. That was the chieftain that got defeated there. He did not lose his three star monster. He simply sold his bases and got defeated. But, yep. That's it for this super turtle here. I'm sorry I didn't look at the timer at the end, but I, I'm pretty sure it was like an hour 45. There's all the units we killed. Over a hundred. 120 hawks almost that I killed and that's not including the ones that llama killed it's just absolutely crazy how many hawks they made and vultures but yeah I hope you enjoyed this super turtle hopefully you learned something and maybe you'll have some fun super turtling thanks for watching bye